Well, there it is, 1138 at night. It's still December 17th, 2022. We were John C., Rosemont, California. All right, I got to apologize. I'm going to say that I looked through the articles again and trying to see what they were talking about on May 7th, 2022, written by Steve Gomez, oh, I'm sorry, Steve Lopez, of the Los Angeles Times, regarding Mayor Bass's plan concerning about the homeless situation. Now, granted, I was responding to Lancaster's response to the article and yes went off on a tizzy trying to see if there was anything mentioning about Lancaster, Palmdale or, Lan or AV in general and scanning it two or three times I still didn't find anything so I posted I posted my objections I sent objections over to LA Times to AV Press and to the City Council of Los Angeles regarding the situation. What I had found on a friend's request for further research into it. In the article, it did mention about Palmdale in the May 7th article. Now, Mayor Bass has already said that she's never mentioned anything about Lancaster. She is only focusing on the city of Los Angeles. Therefore, taking her on her word of honor, that's where I based my objections and my letters and my accusations. And then when I saw the article concerning about Palmdale, then I'm starting to understand why Mayor Paris went on DEFCON 1, as I said. But he is I know he was thinking more about how it's going to be affecting the AV in general, but he just was giving an impression he was focused more on Lancaster. But after living out here for a while now, Anything that happens in Lancaster and some of the communities affects everybody else in general. Especially since we're dealing with L.A. County and also Kern County. I wish I could be doing this on my desk, but I'm not. So I'm just simply going to be saying this. That whatever happens in Palmdale also affects the city of Lancaster as well. I don't think Mayor Bass has understood the complexity of our situation out here in the Antelope Valley. Most of our services are located in Lancaster, while some services are located in Palmdale. Some food giveaways, if they're lucky enough. Not to mention a county health facility. But we also have a county health facility on the edge of town of Lancaster. At one time, it was right on the property of the prison. Yeah, we had on I and 60th until county moved all operations of the health clinic directly over to I and what was it the 10th or the 30th and somewhere in that generalized location where the homeless can actually get services not to mention the indigenous people residents of the county and Anybody else who's registered with the services out here in the Antelope Valley for them. Presumably if they're still living in Los Angeles County. Now if they're living in Kern, they're screwed. They have to go to Central Valley for that, which means Bakersfield, or at least Mojave, on the desert outskirts, for that. At least for Kern County services. But keep this in mind, in Antelope Valley we have homeless moving from county to county, place to place. Sometimes by force. Not to mention, by, not by choice either. Since the city of Los, uh, city of Lancaster has been working 
with close ties with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department substation out here. They have been trying to relocate or eliminate homeless situations further beyond the borders of the city of Lancaster. Between F and, what should I say, between the borders of H and A is still L.A. County. But away from services and anything else for that matter. County of Los Angeles still sends deputies out to either service or eliminate it, one way or another. Usually either by another relocation or by offering temporary shelters that still doesn't offer any hope enough for the homeless populations out here. The major news organizations, even the ones out in Antelope Valley, hardly ever cover it. There are news stories on YouTube regarding it. For one particular group, the Vice Group they call themselves, who's been doing news articles left and right on different situations, but they've picked up on the homeless situation of Los Angeles County in the Antelope Valley region. As I was trying to explain further that whatever happens in the Antelope Valley affects everybody in general out here. At one time there was incidents between the homeless situation and Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department but never well documented though. Mayor Paris kept trying to discourage one way or another, it was reported one way or another, of the homeless situation that we have, including in certain areas. What they're afraid of is the influx that's going to be proposed to the County Board of Supervisors. They're hoping to get potential sites built within the county. And they're also afraid of it happening in the Antelope Valley, which would increase more of the population than the services can already deal with right now. We have two hospitals. We've got an overwhelmed county GR system that hardly keeps up and keeps track of it all. And the food kitchens are still bustling like crazy and still requesting donations left and right. But there's hardly enough sleeping areas for the homeless. We only cover a small fraction. The rest of them are scattered throughout Palmdale and Lancaster, potentially Little Rock, or even Lake Los Angeles. But if they're not living out there, they're going to be moving, they've already been moved over here to Kern County. We've already got an increase slowly trickling into our county. And the first stop they go to is Roseman. We've already got a few homeless camp encampments out here already. And more of the desert regions instead of the instead of inside the community areas. There have been RVs and trailer homes used and by code by uh, code enforcement of Kern. They've either been torn down or evacuated or moved or something. But we still have encampments out here. Out here in Roseman, which is the outskirts of Los Angeles County and Kern County. Whatever happens out in Antelope Valley regarding Palmdale or Lancaster eventually affects us out here. We've already got a homeless situation happening out in Mojave, California City, and a few other communities. But they'll be moving over here pretty shortly from Lancaster. I'll probably guarantee that one. Meanwhile, I am still offering my apologies to those I have offended in one way or another. 
I'm only going to my information I've been researching. But I offer no excuses except observations.